Hello and welcome back to Ireland where we are dying of consumption. Our good vassal here is not terribly well versed in aiding us, but we're going to give him a go anyway. As long as you know what you're doing. And again, I probably should not have agreed to this and food again has gone down, but at least we gained prestige. Oh, we were at 666. No wonder I could call my dog Lucifer. Anyway, gold's getting pretty low. But levy is pretty high. We have a hun 1,300 of men. Uh, we already are the Duke, though. But maybe we could... No, we'd have to release him. And then go on to invade him. That's a shame. I can't offer you vassalization. I can. You won't take it, though, because of a small difference in the opinion of me. That's understandable. What about you? Would you like to be forced vassalized? He would. We've lost our lines over here. Why? Ah, the man has died. So we'll form the alliance again. She remarried. Oh. Well, you are in command now. Good man. Okay, let's subjugate Brienne. We're going to declare a... Wait, could we just offer... He wouldn't take it. We're going to declare a forced vassalization war here. He's pretty weak. Well, 1,000 of men. He's not pretty weak, but he, he's not the strongest man on the planet. So we're going to invite our... Our little friend here and our friend over here to join because they are both Irish. The Irish should stick together when subjugating other Irish, of course. With food supplies dwindling, it has been brought to your attention that the basements of uh, Tier Cornell contain a large number of rats. Yum. I feel much better. I lose consumption. Good. Good. I may not die. Right, friends, let's see what you can do. We only have the potential for two commanders right now. Let's send you in here and just uh, destroy these fools, shall we? A sudden clatter sends you running to check on your food supplies. You arrive at the storeroom just in time to see this guy, Mr. Handsome, wiping at his mouth. How could you? Let him rot in the dungeon. He's our status welcome, or looks like meat is back on the menu. We could eat this man. He's, uh... Is he still a council member? Let's throw him in a dungeon. Let him rot. Let him rot in a dungeon. Could banish him for nothing. We'll just leave him in there. In fact, throw him in the Uberlet. He has caused us a lot of hurt. Eating out of our larders. We need new regents, however. And our current council position is you. Mayor Bruntar. We'll give him the job. Master of the Horse will also give to Bruntar, and the Cupbearer we will give to Giles. Excellent. Very good. Council position, we do need a Spy Master, however. We'll give it to uh, give it to you. You're not that far behind everyone else. Get you to study technology down in Paris. A good place for it. Well, maybe not, because we haven't exactly got anything out of it so far. Excellent. So let's just go through these sieges and uh, watch everything go. Why well, is this another one eating at the food supplies? Is this the woman I accidentally invited? So we'll throw her back into the dungeon. Should have never let her out. Nothing to get from banishing, so we'll simply throw her into the Ubelette. What kind of a man am I, anyway? Uh, patient, cynical. Yeah, we're patient. We don't need to do anything else. We'll just throw in the Ubelette. That's fine. She deserves it. What have we got for known plots? You're trying to kill me, are you, Rudri? My cousin is trying to kill me. He must be imprisoned as well. But it goes against the cancel here. Why? Can I ask him to end his plot? I can, but I would never trust this man. We need to be able to imprison him. I need my council support. Cancellors, would you support me, please? All the ones we can would be great. Three out of five should be enough. Excellent. Right, where is that cousin of mine? Rodri. Can we imprison you yet? Yes, we can. Excellent. Terrific. He's a bit of a fool, but he is useful. We are very low on family members, so it's good that we can uh, do this. Ask my wife, could you please, uh, you know, be impregnated? Maybe what we will do is we'll give a, hus uh, a wife to our uncle here. Are there any fine Irish women around? There's another Dunbar. Maybe we could get her in. She, however, is currently diseased. Let's see who will join the court. For women. Just the one. 
but she will do. We'll invite her over and she can marry my uncle. We do need more breeding going on here, so we'll arrange her marriage to my dearest uncle. Terrific. Are we just sit through here? We want to see all these places because it is worth it for the money. How could you, Enna? Another man is causing us havoc. We must throw him in a dungeon at once. Oh, we have already one here. What is this? My heart. As, you, as your stomach groans and gurgles, you try to remember when you last had a decent meal. It has gotten to the point where you can hardly look at the cords without wondering how they would taste. I have the option to eat my half-sister. No. It's wrong. I will not do that, but we will wait for this disease to pass, which should hopefully be soon. Excellent. We have won this war anyway, so we will enforce peace, and we will gain a vassal. Earl Ed. Another Ed. Would you be willing to give up your county? No. Well, he wants to be on the council, and he is good at marshal, so we will give him that position. We'll have him train troops in our capital. Excellent. Let's put our army down, and... Uh, Let's enjoy Ireland how it is. We need to uh, set a focus. We'll set a f crown focus over here. Is there any buildings I can at all look into? Castle fortifications. Would be useful. A little useful. Not entirely the most useful, but uh, this will do for now. How about you? Uh, would you like a... Yes, he would. Terrific. We'll gain another vassal here. Very good. Right, you, would you like to be vassalized? No. But forced vassalization is always an option, and he is 1,000 odd men. 1,300 men, we have 1,400 men. So we could always send the army back out again to take over this man. I think we will. I think it's worth it. We have the prestige, we should use it before we die. And I'm going to call in my uh, good friend here to join us once more. Not you, though. The Scottish can stay over there and do whatever the fuck Scottish people do. Good, we're going to get away with this uh, without losing any men here. Terrific. We'll uh, have our commanders, whoever they are, do whatever they want to do. Put them on the flank, so because I'm sure we'll have someone on the centre. And let's just besiege uh, this here province. Oh, this is Force Vassalization. All free. Terrific. Now that's great. Your food supplies are exhausted. While you may be able to scavenge enough food to survive for a while longer, staying in here is clearly not a good solution. And I'm starving with minus free food. Bastard. And we have rebels rising up. Ah, huge shame. But the disease is nearly lifted, so I will open the gates. For now, though, we will simply uh, go through here. My acquaintance has died. Don Chad is gone. Such a shame. Such a huge shame that Don Chad, of all people, is now gone. As for you guys, anyone want to give me some money? No. I think my cousin is dead as well. Yes. It's a shame. A real shame, but... He was a bit of a dick. So, uh, yeah. Anyway, this shouldn't take too long to get through these sieges. We'll uh, simply leave the army here to get as much money as we can out of this area. Very good, but he is under attack on multiple fronts, so we need to get the war score before anybody else. Good. Good, we'll be able to get the war score from here. Force vassalize him, and then hopefully we won't have to deal with the other people here who are attacking him, which is half the planet at the moment, it must be said. Right, my capital is under siege, so we will turn around and fight them as soon as we can. Ah, good, we only lost one province there, and he is willing to surrender, so we will accept that as soon as he is ready. Excellent. Could we have some extra men here? Not terribly many. What happened to our alliance? Can I call you in against these people? Now that is a shame because now I'm outnumbered. They are, however, peasants. Alright. Can we take on a load of peasants? I want a stronger centre here. Could you give me some of these men, please? No, I want these ones then. Right, where's the 600 odd? I want these men over here. I will lead them. We'll have uh, you on one flank and you on the other. Terrible commanders, I know, but they will have to do. We have not got a numerical advantage. 
And we're not going to get one either. So let's just see what we can do. Where did my generals go? Commanders. We want this guy and we want this guy. Let's put them into position. Is there anything I can do? I do have a fair few more men if I could ever find them. Hiring is not an option. It's not. Okay, let's go in here. We have a small numerical advantage and they are peasants after all. So let's see how we can get on here. They have the terrain. We have the training. And the morale in the centre. The centre, if we can win that, we can hopefully aid the other flanks. Good. Aid the other flanks now, you fool. It's more important things to be doing. Are you serious? Aid the flanks, you fool! Oh, no, wait. They all won. Never mind. Uh, sure. Sure. Just, yeah, I... Uh, I still would have hoped that he would have helped the flank before they won. But, yeah, whatever. Good, this man here has been captured. He's, uh... He's something. We could torture him a bit. We could humiliate him. For him in Ubilets. Publicly humiliated. Yeah, sure. Publicly humiliate him. Then he can go and live with my, uh... You're not my brother-in-law anymore, my half-sister. Yeah, you will be my brother-in-law in the future. Good for them. They have had another male in the family. That's, uh, what, what is this? Another dizzy... Could you give it a break? We barely survived the last one. Oh, wait, you're here with me. I don't want you here with me. I can ask him to leave. Why am I losing prestige for that? Hmm. Oh, well. We'll simply uh, leave that then. Neither of you own your money yet, so we'll just leave you where you are. And we'll put down our army. Good, so we are gaining strength. These people, however, will not like us. They will not like us at all, but strength is being gained. Would you like to join the vassalize uh, gang? No? What about you? Would you like to join the vassalization gang? No? Well, I don't know what to do then. We could attack you for force vassalization. We do still have the prestige for that, and I'm not dead yet. You have not many men and not many allies, so we will go ahead and force vassalize on you. One at a time is always best. Let's call in our good friend as always, and let's get these soldiers together. Everyone, let's get going. Excellent news, some more gold. The uh, conquest of Ireland is very expensive. But sure, let's just go through his army and then through his... There's no need to worry when we outnumber him so much. So we'll just simply go straight through him here and just... Uh, call for my court decision at once. My wife has camp fever. And the castle is again under disease. We will close the gates again. I, I don't know. It's too late for her out. Yeah, it's too late for her out. She's not too important. We could give her a husband, maybe. My uncle? Oh, yeah, marry my uncle. He lost his previous wife, apparently. Oh, the camp fever, of course. W what else would you die of in this current time? Apparently one of the courtiers has been annoying my wife. And instead of asking me for help, she took the matter into her own hands and made sure the courtier would never annoy her again. What else is she thinking? She did the right thing. Yeah, we always side of her wife. We're good... Catholics, we side of our wives. It's too late for her out. My half sister, yeah, for her out. Incapable. Oh no. And we lost our marshal as well. You can have the job, good sir. Terrific. Well, at least we won this war. We'll get that out the way. And I can create a second duchy. How long till we can create the uh, kingdom here? Not terribly long until we can consider ourselves the kings of Ireland. Now that's great. What if we were to declare war on you? Would Oh, off of vassalization? No. Declare war on you though for the... Uh, oh, what's this? You have a claim on his land. That keeps our vassal number low, which is somewhat useful. So we'll actually do that. The council is against it. Why? 
Why is my council currently against war? Against our enemies? Can I have council support from anyone here? No. We could go against their support. But I'm a patient man. We can wait it out. Shame as I do currently have the prestige for it. While we're here though, while we're stuck in the castle, we may as well build upon it. So we'll build a barracks. Always useful to build upon our capital while we're stuck in seclusion. Dying of starvation and all the like. The alliance has broken down. He died in the dungeons of this guy. That's uh, that's a shame. That is a shame because now we lose all uh, all alliances here. Oh, she does have an heir who is two years old. Do we have a patrol perhaps? No, we don't. Well, that's a shame. But we do have his half sisters here who we can uh, betroth to. My uncle, who's lost another wife. No, we'll just simply go about for now. Oh, she has died herself as well. What is this? A message about betrothal from the King of Scotland. The King of Scotland would like my half-sister to marry his brother, who is not his heir. I accept. We'll send her over to uh, Scotland. She can have an education focus in money. And excellent. All this time stuck inside the castle has led to my wife being pregnant. And again, we have the same life in seclusion isn't so bad. I'm not going to read the same thing again. It's about uh, pickled ball heads. You've heard all that before. Tough times are ahead, f ahead for us all indeed. Could I please not suffer so much? How much is a hospital? A hospital is 93 gold. We're going to build one. We are going to build one. Because we, we really do need it. We keep getting all these diseases. Ireland must be the most unsanitary place on the planet right now. It's good tradition to have some gossips around a pregnant woman in order to keep her calm and distracted from the tri tribulations of the delicate time in her life. As her husband, it is my duty to provide her with gossip she needs. I'll have some major dispatch so some gold games in piety. Yes, of course. Piety is always good. I'm a pious man. I'm a very pious man. Oh, I have a son! Excellent. We'll call him, uh... What should we call him? Let's call him... Uh, oh, shit. Let's call him Henry. Henry Mac Ed. And we'll give him a focus in, I think... Let's teach him to be more of a uh, financial man. What is she must deal with this problem on her own? Why? My wife is uh, clutching with recovery and cleansing herself from pregnancy. Her mood was not improved by taking the Holy Communion. That's a shame. I would have hoped that her mood would be improved. And a barracks has been built. And a hospital is nearly built as well. A hospital will be terrific for the people of, uh, of our realm. The people are still not uh, behind this war. Why? I could do it still, but I would rather not. Raj you. I can claim this in my relative's name. They would, however, support that war. Now, because she is my... Uh, she is my dynasty. If she holds a higher and is of the dynasty. If king and is of the same dynasty, or if she is a du jour liege. She's of my dynasty, so I think this would make her my vassal. She is 13 years old, she is 9. One of them is going off to Scotland, however. I think it's you. So we'll bring the Scottish Lord over here. Let's declare it. He has a thousand men. We have a we have nearly two thousand, so we will uh, we'll go over here and we'll get these guys back under our control because they are good friends of ours. It's only right that we should be in the same realm. It really is. Get our armies together. We only have one general, however. We'll send them straight and destroy the army, and then we'll begin the siege. My court physician, Bishop Giller, has shared some of his latest ideas with me. I do not know how much. I do not know much of medicine, but perhaps he is on to something. He has asked for some money to develop his theory further and write a book on it. Of course, we'll always support medicine. Terrific. Now all we have to do really is go over here and besiege this area, and we will have victory in the realm. I'm sure this makes her my vassal. We'll have to uh, make sure, though. My mother-in-law was killed by a rebel. That's a shame. 
Anyway, let's uh, continue here. This won't be too much longer than we should have what we require. 100% war score. Terrific. We'll uh, enforce our peace. And we do gain her as a vassal. Her heir, however, is her brother, but that's that's fine. She is my vassal, and that is what matters. We'll put down the army, and we will end the episode there. Ireland is growing. Or at least our island. Our side of Ireland. One more county will put us... Uh, Ready for a de jure kingdom. We have the prestige. We just need a, uh, a reason. These people don't want to be uh, declared war upon by my vassals. Who are you? Yes, they don't want me to declare war on anyone here. What's this? Some holy man. Declaration of war on you. Claim the land, but again, it's not supported. But anyway, that'll do for this episode. Thank you for watching. I hope you are enjoying this campaign as much as me. When you come back next time, we'll hopefully become the King of Ireland. I'll see you guys there. Thank you again for watching and supporting the channel. It means a lot to me. Goodbye.